Y'all, the way 2022 had us all in a chokehold, listen, I don't know how the new year was for you, baby. But let me just go ahead and tell y'all how it was for me. So y'all gonna see me put stuff on my hand back and forth. This is like a clear adhesive that you just put on your hand. So you put products and you just peel it off. That way you don't have no mess ups on your, your clothes and whatnot. Got me one of these, ain't had no problem. Okay, let me teach you some. Each one, teach one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave these down below. Everything I'm using will be down below. But already happy new year, y'all. But listen, let's talk about last year. And, and I ain't gonna talk about it no more, okay? And that's gonna be that. Everything we're leaving in the past. Because the past is what? The past. Okay. Last year was full of like a lot of laughs, a lot of love, a lot of, of a, <laughs> a lot of growth, a lot of understanding. I would say a lot of last year, the majority of last year, I really spent my time understanding myself, understanding self-love, understanding that I'm not always right, understanding that you don't have to have every single thing you want in life to be happy. Like, understanding what true happiness is. Leaving a toxic situation, finally. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you know, then you know. If you don't know, you don't want to know. Steer clear. When the red flag show up, baby, dip on out. <laughs> grab your bag, grab your coat, and go. Okay? I need a paper towel. It's just been a lot. Like, I'm so happy, so grateful, so blessed. Don't get me wrong, but it was just like, I was like, Lord, how many more battles I'm going to go through, baby? I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. Basically, last year, I got a new job, got closer with my mom, got closer with my best friend. I lost a couple friends. I gained a couple friends. I'm using my hands. This is why y'all be breaking out. Don't don't be like me. I'm literally using my hands to put on this primer when I literally have a brush right here. Listen, I gotta talk about this for a second. This touch up anti shine, baby. Go get you some. I'm not even. I, when you okay, before you even wait to see how my makeup turn out, just go get it. Like I would never see you wrong, sweetie. Never. Okay. <laughs> Maybe somebody, but not me. Okay, you're gonna look a little ashy to you, you know what I'm saying? Get situated, but it's okay. So, lost a couple of friendships, gained a couple of friendships, like, stopped dealing with my toxic ex. Like, it was just a lot for me. Like, I feel like I was just so emotional throughout the year that it was just like, girl, get a grip. And I was really big on, like, okay. I gotta save, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Like, I was showing up for myself. I learned how to love myself. Like, I have been a person who just did not have self-love. Like, I have been a person who was just like, oh my gosh, I just need someone to love me for years, like for years, right? And I finally got to the point where I accepted being alone. I accepted loving myself and it's great. Like. It doesn't mean that I still don't want to be in a relationship because eventually I do. But I accept the singleness. I accept where God is leading me because so many times I feel we just rush. You know what I mean? Like you're rushing, but like God's time is not your time, baby. And honestly, last year I really saw why God, this is too wet. This beauty blender. Let me squeeze this water out. Little hack for you. Your beauty blender ever too wet? Get a paper towel, squeeze that excess water. You're welcome. See, this look a little wonky. Anyway, it'll come together. But um, let me spray some sweat and spray. Get a little wet. So I spent a lot of time like God, like why am I going through this? What is happening? And it was all for my better good. I honestly started doing my nails myself. Um, I started taking better care of my health. Um, I started cooking more. I set out time for myself. Like I got closer to myself. Like I didn't get closer to God last year and I really wish I would have. And I really want to make sure I do like going forward. Like me typically, I don't say, well, I have new year's resolutions because I truly believe 
Every year you should be improving every month, every few days, every couple of weeks. Like I've always been a person where it's like you should constantly be wanting to improve. improve. Like it, I'm not saying be fake, but what I'm saying is there's always room for improvement in your relationships, in your daily routine, in your relationships with your pets, whatever. Like in your relationships with your family members, your cousins. Aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, daddies, mamas, anybody. Best friend, not best friend, ex-friends, or you you and that person in and out. Y'all want to be in and out again. Like, it's always room for improvement, right? Accountability last year was, like, the word of the year for me. It is this year, too, along with a couple others, like, that free. I'm a little bit in debt, but it's okay. Um, Because your girl got a retail therapy coping mechanism that I'm trying to break um so don't judge me unless you know about it okay last year was just like a lot and like I felt like okay what am I doing right and I have my YouTube channel I really surprised myself like I really put forth effort into just having a channel and like really progressing with my channel and like you know what I'm saying? Just filming content. Like, I really started to find out what was making me happy and what wasn't. What people in my life were not adding to my happiness. I learned how to say no. I learned how to say, oh, that's too much. I learned how, oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I learned how to just live, y'all. I learned how to live. And it's just like, I don't regret anything about last year. I don't regret anything about anything usually because I feel like you should live with no regrets. But it's just like, I had a blast. I went to Tennessee. I traveled more. Like, I just learned so much about myself. I learned what angers me. I learned that I can't be letting everything anger me. I learned that it's okay to let people go. I learned that, like, you could be a good person and even though you weren't in the wrong and somebody wrongs you, you'll still reconsider how you reacted with a situation or what you've done to see if you could have done it better. And I really learned that, like, a lot of people are just so rude, but it doesn't mean that you should take away from who you are. Like, some people are going to disappoint you. Most people are going to disappoint you. But if you show up for yourself, if you love yourself, there's no room for disappointment from anybody else. It's like when people say, well, if you feel you're beautiful, if someone calls you ugly, it's not going to matter. It's the same thing. Like, if you feel that you're going to do everything you said you're going to do and all these things are going to happen and you're just this kind of person, then anything that happens is really not fully going to matter. Like, it's your life you get to decide whatever you want to do if you have a dream and people don't understand your dream that's okay because the dream wasn't meant to be dreamt by them they didn't have it they don't wake up every day and decide i want to do this i want to do that you know what i mean and i want to be a youtuber but i want to be more than that i want to be a content creator and i really learned like girl you are the shit like dot com excuse my language but you are like nobody gotta tell you that you don't have to get a bunch of compliments when you go out to feel like you're you look beautiful you don't have to look for anything in somebody else to not to feel beautiful you're beautiful on your own and you're more than capable and if you need something that you don't got god's gonna give it to you don't look for it in somebody else i learned don't put so much pressure on the certain levels of love that you want in another person when you aren't even giving it to yourself like i'm telling y'all i'm dropping gems i hope y'all taking notes because baby listen wait on it this year 2023 please with everything that i learned last year child you know i just really learned how to take care of myself and i learned how to just accept that i actually do like being alone like it's okay to be alone it doesn't always mean that you're in a depressed state it doesn't mean that it's not normal sometimes you just want to be alone ain't nothing wrong with you that's just what it is i also learned like 
It ain't your job to fix people's understanding of who you are. It's your job to understand who you are and show up as that person every single day. Whether a person sees it or not, it is not your job to cater to someone's perception of you. They're going to develop that all on their own. All you have to do is show up as who you are, continue to walk in you, walk in your faith, walk in your purpose, and everybody else will see you for who you really actually are if they're actually looking. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think that we spend so much time worried about everybody else and worried about what our family thinks and worried about what our best friend thinks and worried about what our mom thinks and worried about what our second family thinks, like, what my boyfriend thinks, what my ex-boyfriend thinks, like... None of that matters. It's about what you think. What do you feel? What do you want? Like, if you want something in life, go after it. Please go get it. That's what I learned. Like, this, what you watching me on, this phone, this iPad, this TV, whatever, TikTok. Like, I ain't on TikTok. I mean, I am on TikTok, but that's a whole nother situation. Whatever you want is attainable. Like, there is nothing in this life that you can't get. God's promises are literally forever not broken like it's a better way to say it but i don't know the way <laughs> but like i really learned like god is not going to just give you something because you keep asking for it you have to show up i've had a youtube channel for what going on six years and i look back and i say i didn't fight hard enough for it i didn't push myself hard enough for it i didn't do what i needed to do for me to actually show up as the person that i am portraying that i want to be like, I learned how to show up as who I actually want to be and be that person. Like, y'all, that is like, I like, I really want to cry because, let me finish my makeup. I'm just talking, but I really want to cry because it's just like, I never thought that I would get to this point in my life. Like, I never thought that I would even be this person. I never thought that I would actually finally get out of that toxic situation. I never thought that... I would actually have a better relationship with my mom. Every relationship is ongoing. You know what I'm saying? Like, no relationship is perfect, but I grew up with my relationships really being rocky, honestly. And I just learned that, like, I can't put everything on me. Like, a lot of things that I was dealing with wasn't even my battles. Like, it was family situations that didn't have nothing to do with me. And I'm putting it on myself. I'm worrying about it. I'm praying on it. Of course you should pray, of course, right? But, like... I'm letting it get in my spirit. I'm, oh, I want to fix this. I want to do that. Well, I grew up this way, and I don't want this person to feel like I... Listen, baby, you one person, right? You cannot show up for anybody unless you show up for yourself first. And, you know, people will say, well, you're selfish, you're selfish. Be selfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the point. <laughs> Be a little selfish, like... A little bit, not a lot, but like you have to learn how to be selfish in order to understand what you want in this life, understand who you are. Like what I'm when I say be selfish, I mean be selfish in your time with yourself. Like learn who you are because I spend so much of my life getting just enough close, just enough almost there to where I was like, okay, boom, I know who I am, everything's perfect. But the reality was, no, I didn't. I didn't fully because I'm constantly growing. Everything's constantly an ongoing situation. So you're never truly going to fully know who you are until you continue to walk out, step out. Accept that you're not perfect. Accept that, yeah, you got a gut. Accept that, yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah, your teeth might be a little crooked. But guess what? You got the money to get them fixed. Guess what? You got the energy to go work out. You got the energy to show up for this job, that job. But you can't show up for yourself? Please. I learned what it's like to be accountable. I learned what it's like to show up for myself just as I would expect someone else to show up for me. I learned that I don't have to look for a relationship to get the love that I deserve. I can get it and give it to myself. And that doesn't mean that I still don't want it from somebody else, but I can actually understand what it is in the situation that I want, what I gain from that wanting. Does that make sense? Like, I get to understand by doing it myself what I actually, like, if I actually wanted that or if I didn't, right? Because you could be somebody who's just like, oh, I just want flowers every day. Oh, I love flowers. I love flowers, right? And then you don't even go buy yourself flowers. So now you got somebody who's buying you flowers, but you like, oh, I don't like these flowers. Oh, 
I'm allergic to this type of flower. You didn't know because you wasn't doing it yourself. Maybe that's not a good example, but that might be a little far-fetched. But I'm just saying, like, you don't know how you want your flowers wrapped up. You don't know what brand of flowers you prefer. It's so much, uh, uh, and I'm not just talking about flowers. Like, it's so much to one subject or one, like, one thing that you might like, and you don't even know that there's more to it because you're so busy on... Okay, I just want somebody to do all these nice things for me. Well, what nice things do you want? Do you even know? And that's where I was at last year. I'm like, well, I don't even know. It's so much that I had not answered with myself. And, you know, I was always just like, oh, I want to get married. I want a relationship. I want this. I want that. But what else? Uh, what else after that? Like, what happens when you do get everything you want? What are you going to want then? Because if you spend so much of your life only wanting one thing or one story, you're going to end up unhappy. People get the, the relationship, the kids, the, the, the whole nine. But now you ain't happy. You, you think you happy. And maybe for a couple of years, you might have temporary happiness, right? But when you look in the mirror, are you actually happy with the life that you've given yourself, with the things that you have accepted, with the love that you have been giving and the love that you've received? Like, is that good enough for you? Because don't put yourself in a box. Like, I spend, I'm looking now because I'm trying to find all my products. I spend so much of my life just putting myself in a box. And last year, that box broke and it 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 broke. And it, broke, and it, broke, and it, broke, and it is recycled it ain't coming back and i'm so happy i am like y'all i don't know how to even express how happy i am to the fact of i don't have to worry about anything i am capable i don't need nobody to show up for me because i'm gonna show up for me so if you don't come to this event if you don't invite me here if i don't see you for five years i'm gonna be okay <laughs> I'm asleep and I'm a chill and go about your business. And that's just honestly the slight motto I kind of live by. Have been living by and choosing to continue to live by. Like, do what you got to do for you. It ain't got to make sense to nobody. And if it does or doesn't, it don't matter because it's not their life. It's yours. It doesn't matter. Do what you got to do for you and God will follow through. It doesn't matter what you see. Like, you... You can't go off what you see. What you see ain't going to help you, baby. Because what I see right now in the world is chaos. What I saw last year was chaos. What I saw last year, they lost their job, this and this and that. You got to keep going. You got to get up every single day. And I'm not telling you that it ain't hard. Because, baby, oh, Lord knows. I'm trying not to cry. Lord knows it can be so hard. It can be so hard, y'all. Like, if you understand, then you understand. And if you don't, you don't. And it's okay. I thought getting to happiness meant I was going to be married. I was going to have a, a husband, a boyfriend first. I was going to have the whole nine. But let me tell you what happiness actually was for me. Happiness was getting up every day and waking up. Finding different, like, ways and things to make my hygiene better my wash routine my dental routine my face routine i was very purposeful about the things that i purchased i was very purposeful about what is this going to do for me long term short term yes i'm buying something but what is it going to do for me is it going to work and then what is my plan if it doesn't what's the backup plan after that how am i going to feel after that do i need this da -da -da -da, right i spent a lot of time just being Vivian and learning what Vivian likes and accepting oh the biggest thing I learned y'all I learned accept whatever for whatever it is right then and there let yourself feel whatever you gotta feel right because if you harbor it and you hold it baby you ain't gonna be free from it I'm telling you, you will not be free from anything if you don't let yourself feel those emotions, if you don't let yourself feel that heartbreak, if you don't let yourself cry, if you want to cry, like, you cannot hold back how you feel. Because a lot of times with me holding back how I felt, when it came up later, I'm like, well, how do I actually feel? I have no idea because I suppressed the feeling. I suppressed the feeling when it was a time where I should have 
accepted the feeling, figured out what was wrong with me, accepted the things that I did wrong, accepted the situation that I was in, and understand I'm not there anymore, I can do better. And actually figure out the steps to do better as time goes on. You don't need a whole bunch of things right then and there in that second because you're understanding, okay, this happened to me and I feel some kind of way and now I'm a little sad. I'm feeling it, I'm accepting it, and I'm going to move on from it. That don't mean soaking something for two, three days and now you just, oh, woe is you. No, it means when it comes, I learn spend no more than an hour on how you feel about something. And even then, that's a long time. That's a very long time. And I know it may not seem like it is, but that's a very long time to have feelings about anything. So that could be anger. That could be frustration. That could be worry. It could be all kind of stuff. But I learned don't give myself no more than an hour. When it comes to being angry or irritated, I try to only give myself about five to ten minutes to vent about something and then I let it go because otherwise that feeling is going to harbor you and you're not going to be able to grow from it and it's going to be a toxic situation within yourself and you're going to think oh you've reached a point of you're fine and you've matured but then the minute something happens and triggers you you're not going to even know it or realize it because you're around here thinking well everything's fine but you didn't deal with whatever you're supposed to deal with so no everything's not fine and no, you're not okay. And you can tell yourself you're okay all you want to. But in reality, you're not okay because you haven't dealt with it. And you don't need retail therapy to deal with your emotions. You don't need drugs to deal with your emotions. Been there, done that. You don't need to vent to Sally, Mally, and Bally. Like, you need to talk to yourself and you need to talk to God. I don't know what religious beliefs you might have. But guess what? I talk to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm just saying. The Holy Spirit talk to all three. Hey, it's times where I'll be like, okay, let me calm down. Okay, and then I also learned, like, I don't really even listen to, like, any kind of, like, uh, what is it, like, rap music. Honestly, towards the end of the year, like, or I want to say the middle of the year, I found, I was on TikTok one day, and this girl had this like christian playlist or whatever so i downloaded it not thinking nothing of it but it's like an afro beats type of trap music playlist but it's christian it's talking about the struggles it's talking about how the demons try to get you it's talking about how satan always after you and how you saw this and you saw that and you persevered and you pushed yourself anyway it's talking about getting up when you don't feel like it it's talking about getting up when it don't look like something gonna change it's talking about being present for yourself even when it looked like ain't nothing working for you but you won't ever find out if you sit and you stay and you don't accept the fact that okay this didn't work out for me. Okay, that happened to me. Okay, this could be better for me. Okay, if it could be better, figure out how to make it better and go get better. What you waiting for? Pause the video. Go make it happen. Come back, though. <laughs> if you don't want to, hey, you ain't got to. Ain't no pressure. I learned that if I want to be held accountable, I also have to hold other people accountable. I also learned that not everybody wants to be held accountable. Not everybody wants your help. Not everybody wants to understand the way you do. And that's okay. Guess what? I understand what I need to understand to help me to get better. And if you don't want to be on that same level, then that's your problem and I can't worry about it. Not everybody going to come with you. Not everybody going to come with you. They not. Like, I spend so much of my life, okay, well, we all got to be on the same page. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, you don't. Like, it's because you're not on the same page as the people that you love, the people that you're around daily, what have you. Depends on, you know, whatever the person's situation is. It is okay to choose your individuality and continue to be that person. It is okay to... Accept that you're different and love yourself anyway. It is okay to not have a bunch of friends because you don't want to be around a bunch of fake people. It is okay to see the things around you and realize, I don't want that. This isn't serving me. And leave and never come back without a word. Sometimes that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I think that you should have a conversation with each and every person that you love. And if something is bothering you, you should discuss it. If you can't discuss it, why are they still in your life? Why are you dealing with them? Because they're your blood? Because they raised you? Because they in your family? 
Because everybody else just deal with it? No. I learned that it's a lot that you can either put up with and or it's a lot that you can acknowledge and decide to grow from. Accountability. Like, just the same way you want to be held a accountable, hold your loved ones accountable. If you pushing somebody and they, that ain't working, okay. Stop pushing them. You around somebody, they gaslight you every time you tell how you feel. Let them go. You telling somebody how you feel, they start talking about them. Stop talking. Like, and if you hold a person accountable, then there's no, there's room for error. But it's good error. It's not conflict. It's not, well, you're ungrateful. It's not, uh, you being disrespectful because you asking questions. Because blase, blase, blase. It's literally just having a conversation. Hey, this affected me. I didn't like it in this way. Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that's what happened. You know, can you elaborate on exactly what you mean? Because I didn't mean to have that intention. What are you talking about? Like, I'm saying different things, right? But this is just like, it's just coming off what I remember in the moment. When you say you love and care about somebody, your feelings should matter too. So if your feelings don't matter and their feelings matter to you, but they come off like your feelings don't matter to them, then you ask yourself, is this serving me? And whatever the answer is, you should know what to do after that. Don't be in something if it's not serving you. It don't matter who it is or what it is. In conclusion, I just learned that I have to set out time for me. I have to break my bad habits. I have to set time for God. I have to set time to daily plan. I have to accept that if I can get up every day for another job, for another person who owns a different company, then I should be able to get up for myself and put in the same amount of effort. If... I'm getting up every day clocking in for a check because I just want a check. That's not a life to live, right? Like, I want to be a full-time content creator, not just a YouTuber. I want to inspire each and every person who watches me to be themselves. I want to put y'all on to good products. I want to put y'all on to good events. I want to put y'all on to a good time. I want to put y'all on to self-love. I want to put y'all on to happiness. And I mean true and utter happiness nothing fake nothing phony nothing judgmental like i just want a, a community of people who accept each other for whoever they show up as you know what i mean and a con on a consistent basis and i learned last year in order to get those things i have to show up as everything i just said i can't expect you all to understand and know that sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm very, very goofy and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I love my makeup, sometimes I hate it. Like, I have to show up as my 100% authentic self even on the bad days, right? And if something happens and the camera breaks, because it did, if you watch my vlog, then you already know what's going on. But if you haven't, make sure you start watching my vlog because I'm really funny and it's really a good time. And the music really be jumping. I'm just saying, but, you know, I just really learned that, like, okay, if your camera breaks, what you gonna do, you gonna get another one? If you don't, if nothing's wrong with your laptop, you gonna go buy another $5,000 laptop, but nothing's wrong with it, but just the fact that you don't have patience because of Final Cut Pro, but it's still doable, it's still workable, like, I learned that I have other goals and dreams. I can't be out here doing retail ther therapy, <laughs> therapy, but I wanna move out and I don't wanna stay with my mama no more. And I'm 28. You think I'm going to be 29 living here? No. But I can't get to that point if... Not my lash coming off. Oh, I didn't. I can't get to that point if I'm out here buying this and that at Target because I, woe is me. Baby, you ain't got no money. Get up out of Target. And what I mean is you got money, but like save for something else. If you really got to go to Target, save and budget for that. You know what I mean? Like... Have a purposeful plan for everything that you are doing in this new year, ongoing in your life. Like, I learned all these things and probably many more that I didn't even say. Maybe I'll do a part two. I don't even know. But I just want y'all to get and understand that, like, life will happen for you. But it don't, it doesn't happen for you if it's happening to you. And what I mean is if you sit at home, if you sit at this person's house and that person's house, if... You don't know where home is at and a person is your home, a person is your peace, a person is your happiness. 
That's not true peace. That's not true happiness. And they could be everything meant for you, right? But if you put too much pressure on a person to fulfill things that you can give to yourself, something's wrong and you got to you got to tap into what do I like? What do I want to do for myself today? It's okay if you have anxiety. It's okay if you don't have to be around a lot of people. Try going to a public park in the morning. I don't know. Like, for me, I'm okay in public pr crowds, right? But there's times where I'll be like, okay, I don't have patience for people who are, like, rude and don't say excuse me. So then I'll turn up, and I'm like, okay, Lord, you want me to be like you? But they about to get it. So, so then I'll, like, digress and go somewhere else or something. But, like, a little hack for anybody who needs it. If you really, like, want to get out of your comfort zone, start getting up earlier. Start doing things when most people are not, actually not even up because it'll give you more of an advantage, and you don't have to see as many people. Me, I don't like to deal with people who can't drive. And if I, I if I'm driving out throughout the day, it's very like annoying because people can't drive. So I try to preference going somewhere really, really early o'clock in the morning and like that just works out for me. I have a better time. If you can't get up out the bed, another example, go take a shower. Like, I've been seeing on TikTok this, like, cold shower thing. I want to try it. It's different. Like, if you see stuff online, I wouldn't say try everything. If you see stuff on Google, if you read a book, like, it's so much to this life that you can literally be and do and create and my eyelash got stuck. Listen, there's a saying. I think it's called, the world is, the world is your oyster. Or the something. Y'all know what I'm talking about? What is it? I don't know. But the world is your egg yolk. I, I just made that up. Like, the egg yolk is going to run. It's going to do what it's going to do. But you're the one in control of it. The way you crack that egg is going to determine where that yolk go. I'm just saying, that's it. That's the video. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> I'll see y'all the next one. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Subscribe if you want. Join the fam. It's your favorite cousin on the internet. I'm out.